Hi there, I'm Alex Cunningham, and I'll walk you through this Notion tutorial step by step. Let's jump right in. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to import text and markdown files into Notion, an essential skill whether you're migrating notes from another app, organizing research, or just want to take advantage of Notion's powerful workspace. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly how to get your text and markdown documents into Notion seamlessly and without any headaches. Let's jump right in. First, open up your Notion workspace and head to the page or database you want to import your content into. Take a moment to look up at the top right corner of the screen. You'll see a little icon with three dots. That's your options menu, which hosts a bunch of handy features for your page. Go ahead and click on those three dots. Don't worry if you don't spot it right away. Depending on your window size, it might be tucked away, but it's always up there in the corner. Once you open that menu, you'll see several settings and actions you can take, but for importing files, you'll want to find the option that says Import. Give that a click. This step brings up Notion's Import window, which is sort of like a central hub for bringing outside content into your workspace. You'll notice a list of sources here, Google Docs, CSV files, Evernote, and several others. What we're focusing on today is importing regular text files and markdown files, which is ideal for simple notes, code snippets, or any content you've written elsewhere. So look for the choice labeled Text and Markdown. These formats are popular because they're lightweight and readable in just about any app. Plus, Markdown preserves structure like headings, lists, and links in a way that's super compatible with Notion. Select this option and Notion will prompt you to upload the file you want to import. This part's pretty straightforward. Just find your TXD or EMD file, select it from your computer, and hit Open. Notion will do the rest for you. Depending on the size of your document, the import might take a few seconds. Don't worry if it seems to pause, big notes or longer markdown files can take a bit longer to process. Once it's done, you'll see your imported content neatly placed right in your Notion page. All your text formatting, basic markdown elements like headers, bullets, and even links should be converted over correctly. If you use tables or more advanced markdown features, take a quick look to make sure everything came through as you expected. Sometimes there might be minor tweaks needed, but in most cases, Notion does an impressive job of translating it all. That's all it takes. With just a couple clicks, you've imported text or markdown into Notion, and you're ready to edit, organize, or share as you like. This demo is a simple example, but the process is exactly the same no matter how many files you need to bring in. If you ever run into any issues, say the formatting looks a bit wonky, or you're not sure which file types Notion supports, don't hesitate to double check the help documentation, or just leave me a question in the comments below. Everyone's setup is a little different, and I'm happy to help troubleshoot if you hit a snag. Thanks for following along. I hope this 2025 guide made importing into Notion a breeze. If you found the tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more practical walkthroughs. Drop a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.